barrel spending, also known as earmarks, just some of the DC jargon that we know all too well and we don't particularly care for it. But what you may not know is just how much the government wastes every year. Like how about a $10,000 toilet seat? Well, take a look at these images because up next the filmmaker behind these picture, pictures outing the government on the dirty little secret. We've got it coming up. Memo, uh, bribery? No. So, you know, Congress is constantly bickering about your tax dollars and uh, where to spend them, where to cut, the deficits, the debt ceiling, all those things supposed to be about responsible spending. Right? But consider this. Prior to 2011, Congress has been pouring tw tens of billions of dollars into earmarks and pork barrel projects. And can you believe those numbers? Just take a peek at your screen. Ugly. It's this kind of spending that prompted two filmmakers to see if they could get Congress to earmark what is perhaps the most ironic pork project of all time. Are you ready? It's called the Museum of Government Waste. I wanted to get my own earmark. I'm just hoping to get an application for an earmark. Do you guys have an application for an earmark? For the Museum of Government Waste. The Museum of Government Waste. Like a physical building? <laughs> <laughs> a real building full of all the stuff our government wastes our money on teapots waterless urinals the chimps throwing feces at each other <laughs> this is a story that we think is undercovered which is why we wanted to talk to ellen hubbard who's one of the filmmakers behind this documentary and she joins us live from reno nevada and no she's not on her cell phone and ignoring me she's actually listening to me on her cell phone i know we had a few audio problems ellen so uh we're just gonna let our viewers know that's how you're hearing this segment as we move forward i love this idea uh the fact that you actually embarked on this pro how long have you been at this uh, at this film trying to figure out if you could get the actual earmark for the Museum of Government Waste. Hey, Ashley, uh, great to join you today. Uh, yeah, we've been at it for about five years, so it's been quite a journey for us. So, uh, as I get it, you hired uh, a radio host to really go sort of Michael Moore on this whole thing with undercover cameras and, and, and all sorts of efforts to try to get the real skinny on what the process is like if you actually want to get an earmark. Yeah, we uh, enlisted our friend who's also a radio talk show host named Greg Knapp. Uh, we thought that he was the best front man for the job because, frankly, I mean, it was, it was going to be a tough task for us to have to, you know, get to um, meet some members of Congress and to meet lobbyists and actually really try to pursue this earmark. So here's the question. I, I mean, I would go to the uh, Museum of Government Waste. I would take my kids there. Do you really want to build a museum, a physical building, to show this? Or is this just to see if you could get this project done, just to see if you could pull it off? It's a great question. At first, we thought it would just be something that would be fun to try to pull off. But as the journey progressed and we realized how much closer we were getting, you know, to actually getting government funding for an actual Museum of Government Waste, we kind of sat back and thought, you know, this is actually a good idea. So we are pushing forward with asking the public for their help to uh, donate to an actual Museum of Government Waste. We would open it in where else? The nation's capital. So every American taxpayer and citizen can go and be educated on exactly where our funding, our, our federal government is spending our taxpayer dollars. So, Ellen, what was it that got under your skin that, that prompted you and your husband to, to sort of take this on? Was it something that you saw in your neighborhood? Was it a, a particular story that you found distasteful of, of waste and, and pork? Or was it just the overall pork barrel spending that comes up every year? You know, who among us doesn't have a story that we can recall that we read where, you know, federal government has spent money on something we all felt was unnecessary? I mean, by and large, I'm concerned with the federal budget, but there was a specific case in which I read about a staffer who literally took his dog for a walk in a park on Capitol Hill, got into it with a police officer because he took the leash off his dog to run him, and decided to do something about it and unlike the rest of us he actually had the power to do something about it he got an earmark for a leashless dog park and lo and behold his member of congress who we worked for didn't even realize that he had slipped it in but it got me thinking you know if if everybody in congress not just the members themselves but lobbyists and staffers have this kind of a power i wonder what a regular citizen you know how far they would get in trying to do the same thing 
And I just want to point out that we're showing some video as you speak about these things and as you're outlining that particular case, it doesn't really match up to Ron Paul and anybody else. We don't want to <laughs> indict Ron Paul for the bad dog park. I just want to make sure that. One last question. Did you get the earmark? Oh, Ashley, I wish I could tell you that, but, you know, oh, we on. want people to go see the film. That The film is the ultimate documentary. It really documents the entire process from soup to nuts. So we're asking people to be a little patient and wait until fall when the film comes out to see uh, exactly what happened. I will tell you it was not cut and dried, but I will also tell you that it was very possible to get federal funding for an actual Museum of Government Waste. Man, when I heard about the $10,000 toilet, I figured, I bet they have a good shot at this thing. Oh, no, <laughs> that ain't it's good nothing. To talk to you. I suppose not. And I, I'll bet you've got tons of examples in the film. For folks who want to know more about it, they can go to what? Museumofgovernmentwaste.com. They'll get the, the time when that movie will be released and where they can see it too, right? Right. And they'll also uh, have the opportunity to help us open an actual Museum of Government Waste. So we hope that I they visit that site and help us. You thanks, make Ashley. me laugh. You make me laugh, especially <laughs> that you're doing this on a telephone and you, you didn't miss a beat. Ellen, thanks so much. Appreciate it. Um, you bet. A lot of